Well, this is it, the culmination of what has been an extremely exciting Santos Tour de Under 2014. Today, Simon Gerrans is looking to seal the deal on a record-breaking third overall victory at this race. But, of course, we've still got the final stage to go and that stage win, of course, up for grabs. We've got some amazing sprinters here. Likely we're going to see a two-up sprint between Andre Greipel and Marcel Cattell. But who knows? All I do know is it's going to be a fast one. Great start to the week for you, almost uh, seven days ago now. Looking to finish it off with a book ending another win. Yeah, it would be nice. Um, I've, I've seen the course now and uh, I like it actually, uh, after, just after one lap seeing it. And uh, it would be great to, to finish the Tour Under now uh, with a good result. It is a nervous stage and it would be nice to have a, a little bit more space than one second uh, going to this final stage. But uh, I've been in this situation in the past, even with uh, less of an advantage going to the final stage. But um, either way, we're going to enjoy the day. It's Australia Day here. There's a heck of a lot of people out watching the race and, uh, and some fantastic support from the side of the road. With the flag drop, the 132 riders remaining in the race set off. On the cards of the day, 18 laps of a 47 kilometre circuit around the streets of central Adelaide. The familiar red colours of the Drapak team were early protagonists and it was once again Will Clark who made it up the road. Joining him were Tulik of Europe Car and Belkov of Katusha. The rhythm was broken slightly as Tulik hit the deck, eventually being caught by the bunch whilst Berard of AG2R bridged across. The trio reached a maximum advantage of two minutes before Team Sky decided to take control of the chasing pack. There was further disruption for Clark as he punctured, but later managed to regain contact with Belkov and Berard. Things couldn't have been better for Orica and Gerens, with the bonus second swept up by the three riders in front. Well, things are really heating up here. In a literal sense, this is probably the hottest day we've had, but also in the race itself, that trio being gradually brought back by the sprinters' teams who are now working on the front. We've even seen Jens Vox on the front as well in what could be his last race here at the Tour Down Under. I can't wait for this finish. Marcel Cotel against Andre Greifel. Let it begin. Coming towards the last three laps, Beras succumbed to the heat, dropping back to the bunch, whilst Clark and Belkov held a slender 30-second advantage. Commissaires awarded Clark the most competitive rider award for the third time in this race. With all of the intermediate sprints taken up by the breakaway, Orica were closer than ever to sealing overall victory. But not content to sit back, it was they who seriously upped the pace in the last kilometres, quickly catching the break. Trek, Cannondale and Lotto were all prominent at the head of affairs as they started the last lap. But it was Lotto who once again got their final lead out drilled, smoothly guiding Greipel over the last kilometre. Once Roiland swung off and Greipel launched his sprint, his win was never in doubt, with Omega Pharma teammates Renshaw and Fenn taking second and third respectively. Meanwhile, safely in the bunch was Simon Gerrans, taking a record third overall victory in the race, relief all round and a good job done by the Orica Green Edge team. They kept me right up the front there, out of trouble, um, well protected uh, to make sure I uh, avoided any splits in the peloton and um, I finished right up there in the front, so it worked out beautifully. Oh, this is a huge honour to, uh, to win the Tour Down Under um, and to cap it all off being on Australia Day as well um, and racing for an Australian team, it just doesn't get much better. Well, as you can see behind me, the riders have dispersed and things are starting to get packed up. The Tour Down Under is over for another year. I've certainly enjoyed my first experience of the race. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage. We will, of course, be back very soon and hope to see you soon.